Davis in the studio. I'm Reese Davis, bringing you the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 pregame show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. The Longhorns are really hitting their stride. Look, I know they have a winning streak going, but more importantly, they're starting to play at a very high level. The expectations are going to rise. They'll try to make sure their performance does the same. Thanks for joining us here on the NCAA College Football pregame show. Now let's send it out to Brad and Kirk for all the action. We'll see you at the half. Texas Atkins is lined, is lined up to kick this one off, and you can feel the thunder in the crowd as they await the start of this game. He's to the 20. Tackle at the 25-yard line. So here comes the offense taking the field for the first time today. The strike complete. And they push him out around the 41 yard line. I like the call here by the defense to bring the heat with the outside linebacker. It was just a better call by the offense, and that's why it's a first down. From their own 41 yard line, first down. field he's tackled right around the 48 yard line this passing game can be very effective if you don't get enough pressure on the quarterback they use their personnel well and can be very tough to defend halfback's got it on the quick throw and they make the stop at about the 43 yard line the 43-yard line. It's second down. Good outside run there. They're eating up a lot of field on this drive. I'm really impressed with their ball control. They spread the field in the gun with five wide receivers. tries to buy some time. They'll bring him down at the 24-yard line. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 24. Five wide. And down he goes at the 14. Well, that's the fifth first down for this offense on this drive. The defense, you can look at them. Hands are on their knees, hands are on their hips. They're looking tired. This offense right now has this defense exactly where they want it. Rolls off balance incomplete. You know, Brad, this is one of those plays where the quarterback just wants to apologize to the wide receiver and maybe every other member of this offense. But the wide receiver, if he's smart, will come up to that quarterback, tell him to forget about it. Let's move on to the next play. Quick throw, incomplete, one of his receiver. That brings us to 10. 
We've got third and ten. Ball on the 14-yard line. Defensive coordinator anticipating this five-wide set, and he comes in with his dime package. Rose, and it's knocked away. And that makes it fourth down. Boy, great defense on that play. They were expecting the pass, and they defended it very well by getting a hand in there to break up the play. He gets it up, and it is good. Let's get the latest now from Reese Davis. Let's take a look. It scores around the country. Back and forth, they go to heavyweight, slugging it out. The Wildcats are out front, 3 nothing. Elsewhere, the Bulldogs were ranked 18th. They hope this victory will push them even higher. And for Fresno State, they remain undefeated. Fresno State wins it 24-20. That's good stuff, Reese. Thank you. Jones has his kick team lined up, and he is set to kick this one off. He's to the 20. Across the 30. Brought down at the 34-yard line. The Longhorns have been talking with him this week, Kirk. It's just interesting, their perspective on this kid, how good he is, and how much they can lean on him. Yeah, you and I had a chance to visit with not only the coaches, but the player himself. And I got a real good vibe walking out of those meetings and, and thinking that he's going to have a huge game. The coaches seem confident in being able to get him the football in different areas on the field. This kid has a look in his eye that I haven't seen in a long time where he just wants to have a chance to have an impact on the game and on the outcome. And I, I'd be shocked if they can slow him down. So it's second down and about two yards to go. Throws it out, and it falls incomplete. Run down in the open field. Nice defensive stand there. And it's a good play calling defensively. They always had someone in the right spot to make a play and force the three and out. They're coming after this part. Looking for the corner. Parker takes it at the 23. He's taken down at the 32. Three points was the result of their last drive as the offense heads out for another. Brigham Young is up a field goal. Throws this one out to the left. Picked off. It's the quarterback. Tackle made at the 46. Not only did he demonstrate his leaping ability, but he also has the hands to be able to pull the ball in. Great job. We talked about this sophomore before the game, and he sure can play, I'll tell you that. From the 46-yard line, it's first down. He was tackled immediately. Three-yard loss there. Really, they just had nowhere to go after the catch. Slings it. That could have been a huge shift in momentum if they were able to hold on to that one. Wow, that was close. Third down now, and they need to get it down to the 36. He zips it. He's taken down at the 22. That makes it first and 10.
And did that play ever develop nicely? Well, it's all about the receiver on this play. He beat his man off the line and then ran a perfect route. All he had to do after that was make the catch. He makes the PAT, a four-play, 47-yard drive, and they put up seven points. Atkins gets set to kick this one away. He'll take it from the two. That was a great hit. He wasn't getting away from that one. The Longhorns really came prepared to play defense today, and the plan is working. Well, so far in this game, you've got to tip your cap to the defensive coordinator. He has clearly done a very good job of getting his team ready to play, and they have done a nice job of slowing down this very explosive offense. The quarterback comes back on the field, and I'm sure he's hoping to make up for that interception on the last drive. The first rule on offense is to take care of the football. These guys need to remember that on this drive. That'll bring up second and three. They need about three yards to get the first here on second down. Throws quick to the receiver, and it falls incomplete. the snap and he makes it out to about the 47 yard line not much of a problem getting the ball in the end zone on their last drive as this quarterback just picked apart the defense well, it's one thing to have speed. It's another thing to have an idea of what you're doing and how to attack a defense. And right now, these wide receivers clearly have done an outstanding job in being able to make their reads and getting out of their breaks, and the quarterback put the ball right on the line. From their own 47-yard line, second down, Texas is up four. Zips it to the back. Brought down at the 48-yard line. That's good for a gain of five yards. So at the end of one quarter, the Longhorns lead 7-3. For his running back, incomplete. Williamson looking to knock one inside the 20 here on this punt. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Fred, everywhere we go when we travel all over the country, people want to talk about offense. Oh, the spread or the pistol and hurry up tempo offense and points. It's nice to watch a team that prides itself on playing great defense. And when it's all said and done, the teams that advance and get to the important bowl games and do well in the postseason are teams that have this kind of defense. He's pushed out of bounds at about the 17 yard line. Second and 13. Second and 13. Ball on their own 17. He's into the open field. And he's tackled at the 28. Attack 
Michael at the 29. Wallace back deep to return. So we got a little on that return. Well, Brad, early it looked like there was an opening there, but the seam closed quickly. Momentum swings have been fairly even. And with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. Texas is up by four. Straight run here, and he's got nowhere to go. That is exactly the type of play that good linebackers make on a regular basis. And if you can make enough of them in college, probably going to get a chance to play at the next level. Second down, 13 yards to go. Ball on the 43. He's going to try and scramble. And he's taken down at about the 45. One, maybe two yards on the quarterback scramble. That makes it third and 11. They come out in a five-wide set. He's tackled right around the 32-yard line. He looked pretty cool back there. Even with the outside linebacker blitzing, he made an accurate throw, and the result is a new set of downs. From the 32-yard line, first down. Strike to his receiver, no good. That makes it second and ten. And we gotta get to the ball, We gotta get to the ball. Let's keep moving. They'll spread the field with five wide. Run, 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 run. Tackled after a decent run up the gut. That's a deep five on the gut. Third down. So we're looking at another third down here. Get to that quickly. And they make the stop at the 12. Makes the tackle at the 12 yard line. First down. From the 12-yard line, first down. Texas holds a four-point lead. They go to the run, and he brought down in the backfield. That was well defended by this defense. The offensive line is so concerned with their penetrating abilities that these linebackers are able to roam free and make plays like that. And this play is number eight on the drive. And now he's got room to run. And he carries the ball for a nice game. That's a game of seven on the play. That'll bring up third and six. They've looked good so far on third down on this drive. Let's see what happens here. Mike 22, he's coming. 22, he's coming. Mike, Mike. Back, back, back. Slings it. He gets hit out of bounds around the three-yard line. It's up, and it splits the uprights. Let's check in with Reese Davis in the studio. Time to go to the Little Apple in Manhattan. We've been watching this thing all day long. The Wildcats strike through the air, getting into the end zone for a touchdown. The Wildcats have the lead, 17-14. All right, thanks a lot, Reese. The Longhorns Atkins looks ready to kick this one off. He's to the 20. He's knocked out of bounds at the 31-yard line. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. Play fake, looking to run. He's to the 40. He dives, and he'll be marked down.
from their own 42-yard line. It's first down. He's hit and taken down. They lose four there. Well, that's just a sound play by the defense. They dropped him well short of the line of scrimmage. Takes the ball inside. And down he goes at the 40. That's a gain of two on the play. That'll make it third and 13. Third down, and they need to get it inside the 48. Green to the back, no good. They're going to be forced to punt it away here. The offense really had nowhere to go on that one. The play was very well defended, and now the incompletion will force the fourth down and a punt. Gray is the punter. Gets to about the 37-yard line. It's not that often, Kirk, we see a team that plays this well when their star player isn't playing well. Now, Butler's stats line, well, as we approach halftime, nowhere near what we expected. Well, I'm sure he's not too concerned about his individual performance up to this point because the team is playing so well. And this is actually, I think, a, a really a testament to just how good this football team is and how well they're coached. To have your star player not playing his best and yet to still have the lead getting ready still for half a football to go. Second down, 10 yards to go. Ball on their own 37. Texas is up seven. And he throws it away. Throws complete. He's got space to work. They'll bring him down at about the 49. The Longhorns are going to call their second timeout. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 49. Here we go. Throws out to the running back. No good. That makes it second and 10. Wants to throw outside. Pulls it in. First down, and he's knocked out of bounds. That makes it first and ten. First and ten. Ball on the 29-yard line. Pressure on the quarterback forced that incompletion. Boy, they really pounded him on that throw. That makes it second and ten. The kick is up. It's got the distance. And he got it. Reese Davis is standing by with this update. Reese, let's take a look at some scores around the country. The top teams roll. This is a game we've been watching closely today. All locked up, 17 apiece. All right, thanks, Reese. Back to the live Texas action here. The they might just want to squib this one. Only a few seconds left here before halftime. He sends this one deep. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Their last drive resulted in a punt, so let's see if they can put together something a little more promising here. made at the 25-yard line. Don't go anywhere, folks. It looks like we might have a pretty good game on our hands after all. The Longhorns with a 10-point lead. we played 30 minutes. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. David Pollock and I here in the studio to break down everything that just happened in your game. The pass rush of both teams has been totally negated in the first half. Neither team has been able to come up with a sack. 
So what's the D-line coach right now preaching to you guys up front, you big fellows who love to go there and make life miserable for a quarterback? Well, you got to watch the football and get off it as soon as you can and try to get that first step quickness because I know those guys are big and strong, but they're also a little bit chunky. And if you're on the defensive line and you're, you're a little bit slimmer and you get off the football a little bit faster, but try to get off that ball quick. And it's not just sacks, Reese. How about you affect the quarterback? How about you, you bull rush your guy and you put him in his lap and you make him throw over top or, you know, change the throwing angle so he doesn't have a clean pocket where he can step up in there and make big throws the whole game. You got to do something, something different than you did the first half to affect the quarterback. David and I will be keeping an eye on your game and everything else going on in the country here in our palatial and comfortable surroundings in the studio. It's the best seat in the house. Belongs to Brad Nessler in Kirk Herb Street. All right, Reese, David, thanks, guys. Just about set to start the third quarter. He'll return it from the three at the 30. And down he goes at the 41-yard line. It's a new possession for this offense, so what will it hold? Quick strike to the receiver. He's taken down at the 44-yard line. Second down, eight yards to go. Ball on the 44-yard line. And that one's incomplete. That'll bring up third and eight. Dumps it complete to the halfback, over the middle. Brought down around the 48-yard line. These special teams have done it before, blocking punts. It looks like they're coming after this one. Tackle made at the 22. There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. And he is drilled at the 34. From their own 34-yard line. First down. He's got it with room to run. And they push him out at the 40-yard line. He scrambles. And he's going to be sacked for a loss. From their own 38 yard line, third down. Here's the throw, I don't think he got anything on that. Wallace will be the return man. And he's tackled at the 29-yard line. The defense really shut these guys down the last time they had the ball. Side give. Gains his way to the 46 yard line. First down.
from their own 46 yard line. First down. Mike 22, he's coming, 22 is coming. Mike, Mike. 20, 50, 50. Give to the tailback, and he's met in the backfield. down and they need to get it inside the 44. Throws it in a hurry. And he's tackled around the 45 yard line. Parker, the return man. No, he won't. Brought down at the 43-yard line. We've got a first and 10. Ball on the 43-yard line. A quarterback in the gun with five receivers. And he's hit immediately. That's a game of 12 on the play. That, that makes, makes it first and 10. Larry, Larry, Larry. Mark 22, Mark 22. Crunch time, defense. Tackle at about the 29 yard line. Game of two yards. That makes it second and eight. It's second down, eight to go. Ball in the 29. They go with the runner. He's taken down behind the line. So at the end of the third quarter, Texas leads 13-3. Welcome back to the action here as we resume play here in quarter number four. Two down, two down. Watch 14, watch 14. Man, do they need that stop. They had to get it back, give it to their offense. They've got the opportunity. That's all they could ask for. They've got one fourth down conversion on this drive. Now they'll give it another go. Deep ball, laying it out there. This one will fall incomplete. Great stand by the defense, and they get it back for their offense. to see how the action shakes out in this series. He's on the run. Slides down to the ground. Second down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. Tackle in the backfield for a loss. That is a loss of two yards. Alright, D, let's go. Alright, D. 
Mike three. Mike three. They come out in a five wide set. Right down. Now he tries to buy some time. And they make the stop around the 44-yard line. So they're going to go for it here. He's on the run. He's at the 40. He's tackled at the 34-yard line. So he keeps it, and he gets a big first down. The quarterback made a very good decision here not to pitch. He saw a break in the defense and just hit it for a big game. Throws out to the back, and he can't hold on to it. Brown was the intended receiver on the way. That makes it second and ten. It's second and ten. Ball on the 34-yard line. Strike to his receiver, no good. Well, that was clearly a poor read on somebody's part. And the bad news is there was no defender around. If the pass was anywhere near him, it could have gone for a big play. Less than three minutes in the game. They bring the quarterback down. The defenders played the snap count perfectly. They found the path into the backfield and didn't let the quarterback get away. There's a player hurt. It doesn't look to be that bad. Well, they're looking for another fourth down conversion. They've already gotten one this drive. The quarterback in the gun, empty backfield, five wide receivers in the formation. Moves up, and the defense has got it. And they're going to have to give the ball back after going for it on fourth and long. Not much you can do there. you got to go for it and give yourselves a chance. Both teams are well aware that a score on this drive is going to create an almost insurmountable lead. This defense has really got to step it up and make a stop. And he's taken down right around the 42-yard line. Butler gains eight yards on that play. second and three. They need about three yards to get the first here on second down. Gets out to around the 28. There's nothing more effective that a team can do offensively than to pound the ball right at the defense, trying to wear them down. And he makes it out to about the 27-yard line. And he gets a yard on the run. The Cougars call a timeout. That's their second of the half. We've got a second and nine here. Ball on the 27. Less than two minutes in the fourth quarter. And he makes it out to about the 24-yard line. The back gets three on the carry. The sophomore just stuck it to the ball carrier right there. That's a very good tackle. carry for this kid and he'll get the first down he's carrying this offense on his back right now and I think they'll keep giving him the ball until the defense figures out a way to stop him first down 10 yards to go ball on the 11 yard line they'll spread the field with five wide touchdown Longhorns Butler's play showing why he's a humble kid, and I'm sure he's going to get the credit to his offensive line. Yeah, Brad, nothing is more gratifying to me watching a game like this unfold than a superstar player like this going straight to his offensive lineman and giving them the credit for that touchdown. What a class act. And he adds the extra point. Here's an update from the studio and Reese Davis. The Bears had the final spot in the poll at number 25. Unfortunately, that didn't last long. And for Kansas State, they've won two straight. The Wildcats grab it by 18. Reese, 
20 to 3, our game here. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. Fielded at the four. He's taken down at the 23. The Longhorns defense came to play, and man, they have played beautifully. How many do they have dressed out there? 12 or 13 <laughs> defenders? I mean, they're flying all over the field, and this poor offense just can't move the ball. They have no chance. Nothing left here except to see the clock hit zero. A comeback is just not happening. Quarterback all by himself in the backfield with five wideouts. Fires that quickly, incomplete. From their own 23-yard line, second down. We have less than a minute to go. Green nine, green. Easy, easy. Fires right side, got his tailback. They'll bring him down around the 31-yard line. Kill, kill, kill. Check clear. Three, check three. That'll bring up 32. He goes downtown. And he snags that one. And down he goes at the 35. Hey, kill, kill, kill! Black five, black five! Hey, kill, kill, kill! Spikes the ball. That makes it second and ten. Second down and ten to go. Ball on the 35-yard line. Throws incomplete, intended for his wideout. Five wide. Dog four. Deep pass to the end zone. Incomplete. Well, this quarterback would love to have this throw back. He's got a receiver downfield open, and he got so excited that he put too much on the ball, and he overthrew him. And it's the offense that takes the field on fourth down. Tackle made around the 24-yard line. The spike will stop the clock. We're at play number nine of this current drive. Yeah, let's get a sack lunch. They come out on an empty backfield. And two, go! Here comes the pressure. They bring him down. Easy, So that's going to do it. The Longhorns with the victory, 20 to 3. That does it for this edition of NCAA Football 14. For Kirk Herbstreit, I'm Brad Nessler saying so long.